In this short video, we will cover account creation, account recovery, and account sign-in. It is important to note that only Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox should be used when accessing global websites, including CCMS. Safari, MS Internet Explorer, or any freeware browsers are not supported. Creating an account. If you do not have a CCMS or IIA account, select Create Account. When completing the required fields, it is important to provide your first, given name, and last name, surname, to match your government-issued ID. Follow the steps and check your email to validate your account creation and complete the process. Be sure to complete all sections of billing and shipping address. Account Password Recovery if you have already created an account in the past, do not create a new one. Instead, select Reset. Input the email account you have used previously, and an account recovery email will be sent to continue the password reset process. If you no longer have access to the email account previously provided, please select the Click Here link on the following page to open a support ticket. Our customer relations team will research your account and send you an account recovery email to gain access to your CCMS account. Signing in. If you already created an account or recovered a previous account, select Sign In. You may use your global account number or email address to gain access to your CCMS account. Your global account number may differ from your local IIA affiliate membership number. Once you gain access to your account, you are ready to manage your certification journey. Click on the link to view the next video, Applying into a Certification Program and Managing Your Account. In this short video, we will cover managing your CCMS account and applying into a certification program. It is important to note that only Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox should be used when accessing global websites, including CCMS. Once logged into your CCMS account, you can manage your shipping and billing address by clicking on the Profile link in the upper right corner. If the name does not match your government-issued ID, you will need to submit a name change request and supporting documentation will be required. If you are an IIA member, confirm that IIA membership shows yes. If it does not, please contact your local affiliate or open a new case under the Help tab. Do not start an application until the membership reflects correctly as this is needed to display the correct pricing. On the right tile, Select the certification program you want to apply into. In our case, we will select Apply for Certified Internal Auditor. Read the terms and conditions. Continue through the application process and answer questions you are prompted with. You will be required to upload proof of education and your photo ID. You must use a government-issued ID with your picture, name, and an expiration date. We recommend using a passport or driver's license. For details on education requirements, review the Certification Candidate Handbook found on the IIA's website. Be sure to submit your application. After submitting your application, you will be redirected to the shopping cart. Once in the shopping cart, you will need to agree to the terms of service and click Checkout. Confirm the correct pricing is displayed. If you are an IIA member and the price is not correct, do not proceed with the transaction as no refunds are given once payment is completed. Select Help from the main navigation ribbon and open a new case for assistance with your membership. On the checkout screen, select your billing address and click Continue Order. Choose your preferred payment method and click Continue. Finalize payment information and click Pay. Do not forget to confirm your order by clicking Confirm on the final screen. A final thank you screen will be displayed with your order number. For credit card payments, you may need to contact your bank or credit card company 
to allow international transactions for IIA Global based in the USA if the transaction does not go through. Additional details of program entry requirements can be found in the Certification Candidate Handbook on the IIA's website. Once your education and government-issued ID documents have been reviewed and approved, you will receive an email confirming program approval. In programs like the CIA, you have three years to complete the examinations and experience. You may extend your program one time, adding one additional year from the CCMS homepage. In this short video, we will cover registering for an examination. It is important to note that only Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox should be used when accessing global websites, including CCMS. In some cases, you might have to clear your cache or use private browser mode. Safari, MS Internet Explorer, or any freeware browsers are not supported. Once logged into your CCMS account, Select Manage My Program. On the left navigation bar, select the examination you would like to register for, then select Register. Read and agree to the non-disclosure agreement to advance to the shopping cart. Once in the shopping cart, you will need to agree to the terms of service and click Checkout. Confirm the correct pricing is displayed. If you are an IIA member and the price is not correct, do not proceed with the transaction as no refunds are given once payment is completed. Select Help from the main navigation ribbon and open a new case for assistance with your membership. On the checkout screen, select your billing address and click Continue Order. Choose your preferred payment method and click Continue. Finalize payment information and click Pay. Do not forget to confirm your order by clicking Confirm on the final screen. A final thank you screen will be displayed with your order number. For credit card payments, you may need to contact your bank or credit card company to allow international transactions for IIA Global based in the USA if the transaction does not go through. After payment is received, a new Access Pearson View tab will display. You have 180 days to schedule and sit for your examination. You may purchase a one-time 75-day exam window extension from the exam page. Please note that there are no provisions to extend CIA challenge exams. To learn more about program policies, please review the Certification Candidate Handbook on the IIA's website. Your examination may be scheduled by selecting the Access Pearson View tab and following the prompts to schedule. For any questions about testing centers, exam appointments, or rescheduling, contact Pearson View directly at www.pearsonview.com slash IIA slash contact. Approximately 24 hours after your examination, you may review your examination score report by selecting View Score Report from the Access Pearson View tab. In this short video, we will cover completing the certification program requirements. It is important to note that only Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox should be used when accessing global websites, including CCMS. In some cases, you might have to clear your cache or use private browser mode. Safari, MS Internet Explorer, or any freeware browsers are not supported. Once all examinations have been passed during the program window, you may need to complete the experience requirement. Complete the section and the system will send your supervisor or an individual holding an active IIA designation an email summary of the experience submitted for review and approval. Once approved, your program will be reviewed and the designation will be awarded in a few business days. 
you may download a PDF version of your certificate from the CCMS homepage or order a printed certificate for a fee. Please note that standard shipping may take 16 weeks as certifications are sent via USPS from the USA in most cases. There is no tracking information available for standard shipping. If you need tracking information, please select Expedited Shipping. You will have the opportunity to opt into the IIA Certification Registry, which will include your first and last name, designation, and country. This is a great opportunity to share your designation and helps in designation verification. You can manage your registry preference from your profile. We highly encourage you to take note of your certification's renewal process. To review the certification renewal policy, please visit the IIA's website. Congratulations on your achievement and welcome to the IIA certification family. In this short video, we will cover certification renewal. It is important to note that only Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox should be used when accessing global websites, including CCMS. In some cases, you might have to clear your cache or use private browser mode. Safari, MS Internet Explorer, or any freeware browsers are not supported. Once logged in to your CCMS account, your designation will be displayed on your CCMS homepage. If your designation is not displayed on your homepage, you may have a duplicate account. Please open a new case under the Help tab to inquire further. Your designation details will be displayed, including a link to renew. There are three possible statuses you might encounter. Active status, grace status, and revoked status. Individuals who do not complete their annual certification renewal on or before December 31st each year will automatically transition from active to grace status. If this occurs, you may no longer claim that you are certified. Individuals who remain in a grace status for more than 24 months will have their certification revoked. You may only renew a certification that is in active or grace status. If your home screen says revoked and you wish to become certified again, you must reapply to the CIA or CRMA certification programs and pass the exams. There is no provision to recertify for discontinued certification programs like CCSA, CFSA, CGAP, and QIAL. Select the renewal link to begin the process. Complete questions you are prompted with including all attestations. Be sure to submit your renewal. After submitting, you will be redirected to the shopping cart. Once in the shopping cart, you will need to agree to the terms of service and click Checkout. Confirm the correct pricing is displayed. If you are an IIA member and the price is not correct, do not proceed with the transaction as no refunds are given once payment is completed. Select Help from the main navigation ribbon and open a new case for assistance with your membership. On the checkout screen, select your billing address and click Continue Order. Choose your preferred payment method and click Continue. Finalize payment information and click Pay. Do not forget to confirm your order by clicking Confirm on the final screen. A final thank you screen will be displayed with your order number. For credit card payments, you may need to contact your bank or credit card company to allow international transactions for IIA Global, based in the USA, if the transaction does not go through. Once the renewal process is completed, the system will update the renewal dates on your CCMS homepage. If the dates have been updated, you have completed the process and no further action is required. You will need to renew your certification annually to maintain your designation in active status.